Hey guys, welcome back to the discussion. I hope that you had some really good conversations about some of these themes, about whether or not um, PT was a Christ character, how the movie interacted with the monomyth, and um, that's kind of what we just want to wrap up in case you totally just went and took the car right off the cliff and we're talking about nonsense. Which we totally expect you to do, let's be honest. That's what we do all, all the time. We honestly thought that PT's character in this movie portrayed Christ it, in some pretty clear ways. Obviously, it went off the rails in some pretty clear ways. But honestly, we see some really, uh, really obvious examples. So, for example, when Christ comes from heaven to earth and really kind of steps into this whole new world, PT does a very similar thing when he when he buys the museum and he kind of starts this whole new life outside of what everything that uh, anybody had ever seen before. It was something completely new and completely unique and uh, kind of this entering into something new and different. But really the biggest parallels that I saw is that when Jesus came around and he started pulling disciples to himself, PT does that in a really clear yeah. way. Yeah. When when Jesus walks the earth, you got to remember the people that he chose were, as as this movie called, the, the oddities. It yeah. was the, the curious people. It was a team that nobody had expected Jesus to pull together. I mean, we... We see fishermen, these unschooled, uh, you know, these unschooled country boys. We see these tax collectors who are are more educated, penny pinchers, have dual citizenship. We also see this this kind of social zealot reformer, um, you know, almost borderline terrorist, maybe. Yeah. And so we see this crazy group of people that nobody had expected to be together in any sort of way. And so when PT pulls together these people that nobody expected, these people who were the cast-offs, the nobodies, the ones who uh, people didn't want to be around or associate with, Jesus does that in a very, very real way, yeah. pulling to people together and then to giving to give them a purpose, to give them something outside of themselves that they didn't naturally have, that, that society hadn't given them. And, and Jesus comes in and gives us a new purpose in the, in the very same way that that happened. Now, also, we see that as soon as... As soon as PT does this, he gets critics. He gets critics yeah. from the you know the guy who wrote the Nudas articles in the Herald. He got critics from the snobs, from the the high class people who they really like Jenny Lind, but they didn't like the the performance that he had uh, you know with the circus performance. And then we see this with with the rioters, people who would start by by jeering and booing, and and eventually they were the ones to to bring the house down. But I mean, come on, this is paralleling Jesus in such a clear way. Jesus had cr critics in a major way. Yeah. And and Jesus always seems to be a man hunted, a man on the run. And that m moving from place to place and, and kind of causing a stir wherever he went because he was preaching such radical grace, such radical mercy and in a, in a shift in some of these things. And, and then obviously Jesus dies a very physical death on the cross. But P.T. Barnum, although he didn't die... A physical death he really died a death like in every other way i mean his family died or basically came crashing down his his wife his children his uh relationship with jenny lind and, and that whole new venture his circus i mean everything came crashing down to the point where he kind of had nobody and everything was really left in ashes and obviously as jesus rises again in a physical life this pt character rises again into this social life of of creating new hope and new life and something something available to everybody and i and i love this concept where pt offers them a home i mean at the end it was man man this has become our home and and Jesus shows up and he pulls us from wherever we're at. And whatever character you might have identified with, it, whether it's the whether it's the kind of that oddity that, uh, you know, I'm, I'm cast off, I'm not good enough, maybe it's the way that I look or the way that I act or, or something about who I naturally am. Or, or maybe you're the Carlisle character. You think, oh, no, I'm fine. Everything is good. And Jesus, to both sides of the coin, offers a better life, something, something that's more valuable than that which they originally had, and then offers them a home within that, giving them purpose and and really setting them to be who they were created to be in a more real way. And even the critic too. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's everybody. He offers yeah. it to everybody. It's Absolutely. A really cool but we recognize that this is a movie. You know, yeah. it's not the Bible. And so that's not what we're trying to do in this series is say, hey, yeah, it's Basically, everything is the Bible. What no. we're really trying to say is we want to make these comparisons so that you can use 
some of these talking points to talk to your friends and talk to people about Jesus. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, there are a whole bunch of areas in this movie where PT is not so much like Christ. I mean, Christ is perfect man, sinless. And PT is kind of jacked up, right? There's a time where, you know, Jenny Lynn says to him after, like, he clearly leads her on and and she thinks that Mm -hmm. there's a relationship blossoming, but there's not. She says, when you're careless with other people, you bring ruin upon yourself. Right. And so he kind of implodes his whole entire thing because he's so self-centered. And his wife says this too. She goes, you never loved anybody but yourself and the show, basically. Mm -hmm. And so he's egotistical. He's proud. And and then also, you know, Jesus is is perfectly God and perfect man in in one person. And PT is just a guy. Yeah. Yeah. Right. You know, Jesus, when he rises from the dead, he, he brings new life and, and commissions his disciples for a purpose. And which is similar to mm-hmm. PT kind of passing the baton on. But then Jesus ascends into heaven and is now reigning and ruling over everything and is for eternity. Whereas, you know, PT is dead and yeah. he's in the grave right now, you yeah. know. And so, um, <laughs> but we can't really talk about this movie without talking about songs I yeah think. absolutely so yeah. what was your favorite or I think, what, what one I don't you want to highlight okay i think the one that i really want to highlight is this is me obviously yeah. that yeah. won an oscar you know and so that the whole concept of like identity is huge right yeah. and so it's like who are you who am i and and so you see the bearded lady wrestling with this yeah. in the beginning where she's hiding in the laundry area mm-hmm. she's ashamed of who she is and pt gives her like a new identity, you know, be proud. And when he says to her that they're, they don't see it yet, but they will, Yeah, you know, and yeah. she then starts to embrace that. And what's interesting is PT is the one who gives her identity <laughs> and PT is the one who like in a negative way forces her to embrace that identity yeah. in a really cool way. So, yeah. you know, going through the streets and saying, this is me. Yeah. I know who I am. I yeah. know who I'm created to be. And so in the, in a very similar way, like we chase after finding our identity and finding our purpose in a whole bunch of, of different ways. Yeah. And realistically, until we know that our identity is in Christ, we're never going to be satisfied with anything else. And I think that song really strikes that, strikes that chord with me. Yeah. And I can't, uh, I mean, I can't leave this without talking about come alive. You know, that moment where, where he's really kind of starting this circus off and really kind of pushing it up uh, the, the first time yeah. he, he's running through, like singing this song, come alive. And, and, and Part of that song says, you're just a dead man walking. And man, we don't want to to leave these videos without hoping that you come alive. Mm -hmm. Uh, Really, this is our story. I mean, our story is is we're two dead men walking and Mm -hmm. followed Christ's call to come alive, where where Christ gave us life. Christ gave us worth and and helped us to truly come alive so that we can leave that dead man walking lifestyle and step into a whole new life. And and there's even the line uh, in that song where he says, let your light shine. It's like, and let your light shine before men. I mean, come on. It's like it's like they just took it straight out of the Gospels. Yeah. And so we, hey, this is our hope for you. Like, yeah, come together. Watch some fun movies. Uh, hang out with your friends. Eat popcorn and red vines. Like, like we love community. We love that. But, man, our hope is that you come alive. Yeah. Uh, we've seen that in our own lives. And, and that's really our prayer for you. Mm-hmm. We want you to meet Jesus. And we hope that this series, as we continue this summer, is something that you look forward to. And it's a place where you can really see how you can pull Jesus and use movies and all of this different, um, you know, Marvel and all of mm-hmm. that to talk to your friends in a very simple way about Jesus. Yep. And so we love you guys. We're excited for more. We hope that you have a great day. We'll see you next time. Take care.